Hi booktube, it's Andrew here and I'm here with my extremely, 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 extremely late June wrap up. I've not been feeling 100% lately. Um, I've been working a lot of overtime so I just haven't got around to doing much filming. So I thought I'd just give you a quick wrap up of the books I read in June. Uh, the first one was The Summer House Party by Carol Fraser and it actually feels like it was years ago I read this book. Um, this was sent to me by Head of Zeus um, as was part of their blog tour. I did a question and answer session with Caro which is actually on my book blog so if you want to check that out I'll link it below. Basically this tells the story of a group of friends over the course of approximately um, from one year through for the next few years in the war. It was a really really good story. I really actually enjoyed this one. I think I gave it four out of five stars. I'm really going to go through these really quickly because it's quite a few of them today. Now I've read quite a few ebooks. The first one was Still Kicking by Judith Arnold and I'm going to be honest I can't remember what any of these were about. I also read The Murder Store by Danny Amori and that one was really good. Then there was one called Colour Me Dead by Teresa Trent. Now this one um, was about an artist who with her brother moves to a, ta a small town because she's going to illustrate a children's book and there's a murder and they find a body and they investigate it and solve the crime. That was a really good one. The next was Brownies and Portrayal by Heather Justison. This was one of those nice little quick cosy mysteries that I can't remember much about so it just shows you how good it was. I'd probably give it about three stars. Oh I do apologise, I'm not very good at this at the moment am I? The next lot were a series by Hope Callahan um, called, and they, they were sort of five, four, five in the series I think. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. TPs in Trailer Parks, Bag of Bones, Southern Thor Stalker, and Two Settle the Skull. And this um, tells the story of two sisters, twin sisters, who inherit a house from their, their aunt, and they have to sh look after their uncle, who still lives there as elderly. And they also inherit a trailer park and a, a set of teepees, hence the first title, Trailer Park and Teepees, and uh, each one consists of a murder. So they first get there and they discover a body in the bathtub in the house, so they have to still solve the mystery and find out who killed this person. And so on with all the stories, and it carries on like this. Bag of Bones refers to a body that's discovered under a trailer that's moved, um, and, and so on. Now, I'm exhausted. Number 10 was one of the Terry Pratchett books um, I'm currently rereading and that was Sorcery. This tells the story of Coin. Coin is the eighth son of an eighth son of an eighth son. The eighth son of an eighth son is a wizard. So the eighth son of a wizard is a sorcerer. So Coin becomes a sorcerer um, his father dies and puts himself into a staff, into his staff, and um, the staff is given to the child. And Coin grows up not really understanding his powers. His father's forcing him to become this tyrant of magic. And he goes to Unseen University and mayhem unfolds, including with our favourite uh, useless wizard, Rincewind, comes to the rescue. And uh, the, the hole in the story is, not a hole in the story, but the the loophole in that gives um, society and humanity a chance is that Coin's father will leave Coin alone only when Coin throws away his staff. And one of the things you learn about wizards in Terry Pratchett is they never throw away their staff. So I've really enjoyed reading this one again. It is nice to revisit some of these older Pratchetts that I haven't read for a long time. So I'm looking forward to reading some more. Uh, back to the ebooks, I read uh, an Amy Cross book called The Farm. Now, this one was really, really good. I like Amy Cross. Her style is quite different from some people. Some people don't like it. Some people love it. And it just tells lots of, of different ways. I, again, I've read so many books, I can't remember what they're about. I, so I'm sorry. I've not been very good this month, have I? Um, I also read The Neighbour by Dean Koontz, which is one of his short stories about two kids that grow up and next door is 
their neighbour who's a bit weird and they find out that he was actually abusing people and children um, throughout the years and he sort of like haunts the place now. Then there was The Witching on the Wall by Constance Barker. Again, this is another one of those cosy mysteries that I can never remember the plot of. I'm actually going to have to make notes on the plot because this is ridiculous. And then there was Midnight at Tiffany's which, uh, by Sarah Morgan. Now that's obviously a little romance with two people. And then there was A Zen for Murder by Leanne Dobbs. I, I quite like Leanne Dobbs, these cosy mysteries. They are really, really good. Then there was one called Ladybird by Stuart Giles. This one was very good. Um, and it insults a serial killer who, after killing their victims, who nobody can figure out what the link is to start with, drops a lot of dead ladybirds on them. I thought that was absolutely brilliant concept. That's their calling card, a load of dead ladybirds. So they know it's the same killer, but they can't figure out what the connection is. It, it takes a long time. It was really good when I figured it out. I really enjoyed that book. Another book I read, and we're pretty much on to the physical books now, so I'll actually remember what these are about because I can see the backs. Um, and this one, the next one was called Sorrow's Redemption by uh, Hedley Harrison. This was sent to me by the publisher, Book Guild. And it's taken me a while to, to read it, but I really, really enjoyed this one. So basically the planets involved, they, they live on this planet where it's a city-state um, in an apparently unoccupied wilderness. Men are for subservience They're, and breeding and nothing else. And social status is determined by colour. Um, so ruled by black women, uh, fair women have very little place in society. But there is one a pale-skinned soldier named Sorak hence the name of the book, who questions the world order. She starts to develop feelings for her slave um, and um, basically they end up running away together and there's a big, big revolution going on in the city. But she and her slave, who she calls Nasa, have uh, run away and start a life for themselves in the wilderness. It's an absolutely fantastic book. Really recommend that one. One of my favourite series and one of my new favourite authors, or has been for the last uh, couple of years, is um, Jodie Taylor. And uh, the new book came up, out recently and the rest is history. They have, have, as you can see, changed the covers. I like the covers, but I don't like the fact that this is not going to match on the shelf when I put it downstairs on my bookcase but um so in this one it's another one where you think everybody dies and then nobody dies and you're like make up your mind but there are some really funny moments in it they, they visit lots of different places in history as always um Max believes her husband Leon is dead along with Markham and the bad guy Ronan? Ronan. Clive Ronan. But are they? Um, so Max has her son, her baby son, stolen from her from Clive Ronan. And the time police and um, Leon Farrell and the, the, the time police go chasing after him across time to try and recover the child. But they can't recover him until he's like eight years old and he's been treated terribly they find him living in victorian london and so he's been treated very badly and by women so he doesn't get on with his mother anymore and of course max is heartbroken and this tells the story of how they come to terms with everything and it was really good <coughs> and this is a signed copy i really love those books they're so funny the next book i read and this is actually book 19 so you can i've gone through this really quickly because i've not even been on 10 minutes yet i want to go and do some reading was the Girl with a ta ta Dragon Tattoo by Steve Larson. I finally re read this. Um, Paul bought this. I read the first chapter, put it down. Couldn't get get into it or the prologue. So um, it was the book that I pulled out of the TBR jar in June. And I, I missed it. I read the prologue. Thought that was a bit odd. Read the first chapter and just thought it was incredibly dull the first chapter but when I got into the second chapter and the story started unfolding I really got into it I thought it was actually really well done I can see why it has been very very popular and I want to pick up the next one in the series so I really enjoyed that book 
20, because yes, that's 20, of the month was the Stephen King from Stephen King of Thong of Thong of Thong of Thong, which is the Dark Tower book three, The Wastelands. Ooh. So Roland, Susanna, Eddie and Jake are carrying on with their journey. And yeah, I mean, if you haven't read it, I, I, this is one of those series I thought I'd never read. I love Stephen King's horror work, but this is a fantasy Western type thing. Um, never actually really appealed to me until um, Missy over at Bindry just said she was going to do it. And I thought, oh, well, I'll read them. And I'm actually really enjoying it. But the one thing I've noticed is they get bigger. Every volume is big, a lot bigger than the, set, the previous one. So, yes, this was a good one. I really enjoyed it. I, I really enjoy the links with our world and their world and the way it changes. I just thought it's, it's just a really well written, but strange story. And I'm on the next one now. That's very strange. So, But I enjoyed that. And finally, the last book I read in June, again, is one by my, one of my favourite authors, and that is Peter James, Need You Dead. And this is the 13th, I think, Roy Grace story? I think so. I didn't say. I'm sure it's number 13. Anyway. And this tells the story of Lorna Belling, who has been having an affair, only to find out that the man she's having an affair with hasn't kind of been telling the truth. And she ends up dying in a bathtub. But is it suicide or was she murdered? So Roy Grace is on the case. Not only that, he has to deal with the son he never knew he had, with his first wife, Sandy, who killed herself. And suddenly he's got this teenager to, to bring up, as well as his... Uh, a very young six month old son named Noah. So again, I love Peter James's writing. I really liked uh, Need You Dead, really, really enjoyed it. Do recommend the Roy Grace series. Very, very well written. Picked this up because it, I thought I'd take it on a holiday, which I did, and I read it in one night. So those are the 21 books that I read in June. Excuse me, I'm still not feeling very well. Um, yeah, so. Again, I do apologise that I don't remember what a lot of these books are about. I must keep more detailed notes on on them so that I can actually say, oh yeah, I know what that was about. It's, it's mainly the Kindle ones. It's just the Kindle ones, not actually the ones from the, the physical ones. So I, I just keep notes on the Kindle ones, I think, and then we'll be okay for the next wrap up. Because I've read a lot of Kindle books again this month because I read them on my break at work. So, although it's very close to the end of the month, I will pick a book from the TBR jar. They're slowly going down. There's still loads on the pile. And I have got a lot of books that I must get through. All right, not must get through, but want to get through. I have got one I have to read that I'm reviewing for Head of Zeus. So, and I'll admit, I haven't been posting much on my blog either lately. I just haven't felt like sitting in front of a computer when I've got home from... Oh, you know, sitting in front of a computer all day. <laughs> but I know I must uh, do them, so I've got loads of reviews to put up. So I'll leave the link below, and if you want to go check it out, you can. I always dread what I'm going to get on this, because I'm not going to want to read it. But Oh, it's another Peter James one. It's a Roy Grace book. It's You Are Dead. Excellent. I can live with that. I'm going to go and pull that off the shelf right now. Whew. So those are the 21 books that I read in June. 21. Mm-hmm. Hang on. Is that 20? Is that right? 21? Let's go and check. Yes, 21. Fantastic. Well, there we go. 21 books. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> How are you all doing? I am now over the 100 mark of my Goodreads challenge of 150 and hurtling towards the 150. So what have you been reading? I am trying to catch up on all your videos. Um, Slow or going, but I'm getting there. Uh, what are you reading this month? Are you doing Booktubeathon? I'm not doing it this year. Just for, uh, i just not into setting myself that kind of challenge. For me, just reading the book from the, the TBR jar is a challenge enough at the moment. 
Although I do hope to get back to doing things like that soon and hopefully one day we'll do Big Toothathon. Maybe I'll do the Christmas one. I'll see how, it, how, it, how busy I am over Christmas. It's just, it's so busy at work. I've been working a lot of overtime. Um, so it's uh, stop it's stopping me from doing things, other things that I like to do. But that's going to be easy enough now, which is great. I'm so glad. I hope to get my book room sorted out. One of the plan things I've got to do soon is I have been asked to do a Jane Mansfield book tour. I haven't got many Jane Mansfield, but to show you my Jane Mansfield books, which I will. I've only got a few. But um, what I will probably do is do a... Uh, film and entertainment bookshelf tour so that'll be all the film stuff music tv shows comic stuff um and so on and then of course i will spotlight on the jane mansfield books as well later so that's coming up i've also been asked to show you my marilyn scrapbooks so i will film those like i do the colouring videos so you won't be seeing my ugly mug you'll just be looking at the scrapbooks and I'll probably do I've got around 30 or 40 scrapbooks I'm not actually sure anymore um so I will probably do two per video and just show you each article where there's a date and a source material if I can I'll, I'll let you know what that is as well so that's it from me I will hopefully see you soon I'm planning I've got so many videos I want to film but it's just getting round to it very naughty I know so I'm going to go and pull you are dead off of the TBR and I will see you all very very soon booktube have a lovely weekend because when this goes up it'll probably be Saturday um, and I'll see you as soon as I can love you bye bye